In this video, you're going to learn how to set up the newer Haas TM1 CNC mill. First step is come over to the control board and hit power on. Then wait for it to power on. Once the machine's powered on, you need to follow a couple simple startup steps to get the machine ready to run. So first things first, open and close the door. Press the emergency stop in and release it. Hit the reset button and then go ahead and hit power up. Now the machine's going to go to its home position, so wait for it to stop moving. After the machine stopped moving, come over here, press handle jog, then come down here and press 5% rapid. Next step is to load your stock into the vise. So take whatever size parallels you need, put them into the vise, put your stock in. Take the handle, tighten it up on your stock. No need to really wrench down on it, just snug it up. Then take the dead blow and just tap on your stock to make sure it's sitting flat against the parallels. Next, we want to load our edge finder into the spindle. So insert the edge finder up into the spindle. Make sure that the slots are lined with the tabs. Hold the button. When it sucks it up, let go of the button, and then you're all set. Now that our stock's loaded and our edge finder's loaded, we're going to come over here to the control panel. We're going to click handle jog. You can use these four buttons next to hand jog to control the speed of it. The bigger the number, the faster it's going to go. So we're going to start here. Then over here, you're going to have your three axis buttons, X, Y, and Z. So X is going to be left and right, Y will be front to back, and Z will be up and down. So I'm going to use a combination of these buttons to bring my edge finder close to my stock. Then on the left of that, we're going to have the handle jog wheel, and that's what you're going to use to actually move the machine. So using a combination of the access buttons and speed buttons, and then the jog wheel, I'm going to move my edge finder to the left side of our stock. Now that our edge finder is on the left side of the stock, making sure that the skinny part of the edge finder is touching the left side of the stock, or close to it, we're going to go ahead and close the door. Then we're going to come over to our control panel. We're going to press MDI. If this M03S800 code is already in MDI, you're all set. You can skip to the next step. If not, let's say it's not there, you're going to come down here. You're going to press M03S800 and click Enter. Now that that's up there, go ahead and click the orange reset button just to reset that program and then click cycle start. And that's going to start our spindle moving. Now using the hand jog wheel, I'm going to slowly move the edge finder in until it starts to touch the part. It's going to start to straighten out and then as soon as it jumps, that's when you want to stop. So straightening out, straightening out and then it jumped right there. So now once it jumps, I'm going to come back over to my control panel. I'm going to hit offset. Then I want to make sure that I'm up here in this column here. Using the cursor, I'm going to cursor over to work, then cursor down to G54, and then I'm going to hit part zero set. And that's going to set our x-axis there. Now, hitting hand jog again, we need to move up in the z-axis so that our edge finder is above the part. Then I want to move over to 0.1 to compensate for the diameter of the edge finder. So if you look at this position here, this is at zero, that should say 0.1. And right there it says 0.1, and then I want to just double check and make sure that the edge finder looks like the center of the edge finder is on the edge of the part. So that looks good. Now I can come back over here, hit offset again, go over to my work offset, cursor back over to the x-axis column, and hit part zero set again. Now I need to do the same thing I just did for the y-axis. So I'm going to move it over to the y-axis here. Now that I jog the edge finder to close to the front edge, um, moving in the y-axis, I'm going to go back real slowly till it starts to straighten out. It's going to start to straighten out, straighten out, and then waiting for the jump. 
right there it jumped so I'm gonna come over to the control panel I'm gonna hit offset make sure you cursor over to work offset come down make sure you are highlighted on the y-axis in G54 and then go ahead and hit part zero set now that that's part zero set I'm gonna move it up in the z-axis so that I'm above the part then moving back in the Y, I'm going to move back so that's at point one, making sure that the center of the edge finder is on the edge of the part. Then coming back over to my work offset, cursor back over to the Y column and hit part zero set again. Now we're ready to set our tool offset. So we're going to take out the edge finder, hit reset first. That's gonna stop it. Go ahead and open the doors and then you can jog your part, your tool up in the Z so that you can get it out and put your first tool in. Now I've got my first tool loaded. I jogged it down so that I'm at the top of my stock, then moved it in slowly so that with using a piece of paper, I'm gonna slide the piece of paper back and forth. I want a little bit of friction, um, but so that I can still get the paper out. So once you have that set, you're gonna come back to your control panel. Let's hit offset again cursor over to tool and then make sure you come down to tool number one and you're going to come down here and hit tool offset measure you're going to get this greater than setting one for you too come down here click y for yes and that'll change your tool offset for tool number one now we want to do the same thing for tool number two and any other tools that we're going to use so i'm going to switch first jog the z up and then I will switch to tool number two. Now I switched to tool number two, jogged it down to the top of our stock. Again, using a piece of paper, you wanna have a little bit of friction, but that's so you can still get the paper out. So once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna come over to my offset page again, cursor down to tool number two, and then hit tool offset measure again. Again, hitting Y if prompted with the greater than setting 142 and that'll set tool one, number two. So now you're gonna go ahead and set any other remaining tools you have. Um, if you're all set with those two, then you're gonna move on to loading your program. Now, first step for loading our program, we're gonna take our flash drive, plug it into the side of the machine. Then we're gonna come over to our control panel, hit list program. This page is gonna pop up using the cursor arrow. Make sure you go up so that it's highlighted in orange at the top bar and then cursor over to USB. Now go ahead and cursor down to your program. Then you're gonna hit enter in the bottom right here. Then you wanna hit F2 to copy. This page is gonna pop up. Go ahead and hit enter, enter again. Then it's gonna ask if you wanna overwrite any existing code and go ahead and hit Y for yes. And if you get this prompt, just go ahead and hit Y again and then it should load. Now go ahead and click memory and you'll see your code up here in the left. Go ahead and close the doors and hit cycle start.